Hey everybody, um, so uh, today I'll do a little review of uh, my new uh, SenseCap uh, tracker. It's a T1000E from Seed, which is uh, this little device. Comes in a little box like this. Pretty neat little uh, 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 um, mestastic node, a wearable mestastic node. So this video is about, there's a lot of videos about how setting it up and when you buy it. But um, let me go through, uh, you know, what uh, things you might not know about it or, or, or you do, but whatever. Let me show you what, what I know about it. So um, I know that it's kind of waterproof. Um, it's an IP65 waterproof. So I wouldn't go diving in the ocean with it, but um, it certainly can take rain and, and uh, you know, sweat and that kind of thing. So pretty neat. So you can see it's completely sealed. And uh, very nice. Got a little hook here for a lanyard or, or whatever. You can see that the top half is the electronics and the bottom half is really the, the battery. So um, that's pretty neat. Um, it, it's divided, you know, it, it really is small electronics that's in there. Um, you know, it's got a PWM speaker, which is nice. It's got this LED and it's got this uh, button. And um, it's got this little connector at the back here with magnets to make it obviously waterproof. And you connect a, uh, oops, a charger thingy to it like that. So you get this cable in the box that's the charger and you can charge it. So it lasts for about two days, the battery on it, which is, which is pretty neat. Um, one thing that it does have, it has a temperature sensor inside of it. And uh, so, you know, if I... Um, look on the on the PC you can see the little temperature sensor right here that's my Vivsoft T1000E we can see it's uh, at 28C so it has a uh, you have to turn that on in the app of course um, you know it works just like any other mystastic node um, you know once you connect to it um, um, and I'll connect to it quickly over here um, you will see that um, it basically, uh, um, you know, it's, uh, it's receiving some messages, but you can see that um, there it is. It's got the 81.8F over there. If you click on it, you look at the more details, you can see the temperature over there. Very nice. And it's got a luck sensor as well that shows uh, how bright it is. So there's the luck sensor, which is pretty neat. And that's built into this uh, little node over here. Okay. So how you set that up is really you just go into uh, radio configuration. And you go into uh, telemetry. And you turn on environmental metrics. And I put mine to Fahrenheit because I'm in the US. And I set, uh, you know, refresh at 1800, whatever. So um, very nice. Okay, then um, the next thing it has is it's got this little um, heart uh, LED in the front, and uh, um, you know if uh, if you're wearing this as a as a, um, a lanyard to avoid looking like a space cadet, um, I suggest turning the heartbeat off, and uh, uh, you know so else there's this LED that flashes and looks pretty weird when you're walking around with uh, um, this little thing uh, um, uh, flashing on, on, on your chest. So if you go into, I think it's device, if you go in there um, and you hit um, disable LED heartbeat, then the little LED will stop. So um, if I turn it back on, you'll see that uh, it's flashing. You can barely see it. But at night, you know, if it's a little bit darker, it's going to flash all the time while, while you're walking around. So you probably want to turn that off. Um, so pretty neat. So you can turn that on and off that little LED. Um, GPS, it's got built-in GPS. Very nice GPS. And the way you turn GPS on and off on a mesh-tastic device is you hit the button three times. So, and now I've turned GPS on. And you will see inside the app, it's now going to start reporting GPS. At the moment, you can see it's not showing any GPS information, 
but as soon as that GPS starts getting a, a lock, you will see GPS information in here. And to turn GPS off again, you will hit the button three times and that turns GPS off. And that obviously will save battery if a GPS is off, right? Um, so one, two, three, and GPS is on. Okay, very nice. Um, you know, f as far as tracking is concerned, it has some, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 you know, if you look at the node map, you can see I've walked around, you know, the circle here in our neighborhood, and you can see where it's tracked me. So it does have a tracker inside. The GPS is pretty good. I still got to update the, the, the frequencies, but, um, you know, it, it pretty much can mark where you've been, which makes it a tracker, you know, very nice very nice that it has the GPS inside. Yeah, and like um, any other uh, Mestastic node, if you hit the button two times, it will send out node info. Like, uh, I'm here, here I am. Anybody talk to me? So um, I know you can only at the moment do that once every 10 minutes, but um, uh, so you hit the button twice and let's look at the PC at the same time so I'm going to hit the button twice. VTE send out a node info packet uh, from, uh, uh, and we can see that it's a node info. So it's basically broadcasting that I'm here, that I'm uh, here to uh, uh, talk to anyone, and it shares its information. Like it shares its, uh, um, and you can look in the packet that it sent out. It sent out, you know, this is what I am. This is my short name. This is my MAC address, my, my, my model, what, what I am, my role, and you know, here's my public key if you want to talk to me, that kind of thing. So um, hitting the button twice does that, it sends out note info. But like I say, you can only do that like once every 10 minutes. And then probably one of the coolest features is this PWM speaker. So because it's PWM, it means I can use RTTTL strings. So um, if I were in the app and I were to say, uh, hi there, I'll send it from, yeah, I'm currently connected to this node over here, and I'm going to send hi there to the uh, DM to this uh, sense cap. So when I send that, you can see the message arrive. And you can hear that I have a custom uh, uh, um, a notification sound uh, programmed on this uh, sense cap. So hitting the button, of course, stops it. And the way you do that is you go into radio configuration and uh, then you hit um, external notification. And down the bottom here is the string. Now I'll put the string on, on the blog post because it's a pretty long string, but that's a string, and you can use any RTTTL uh, string to insert it there, and it will play on the SenseCap's PWM speaker. Uh, one more thing you can do with it, of course, is turning it on and off, holding the button, turns it off, and holding the button for a few seconds, turns it back on. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty neat. Love a little thing. I think um, this will make a great uh, um, little node if you're just going somewhere, if you're going to a, you know anywhere, walking around town, if you're going to go um, you know uh, uh, on a, a, a hiking trail or something, throw this thing in your backpack. I found that it's pretty strong. The antenna is pretty strong. The reception and all of that's very good. Um, you know, it's got tracking, it's got uh, uh, notification, you know, once you hear the, the little uh, song of uh, whatever you programmed the uh, notification sound is, you can just look in here. Here yeah, was obviously the message that I just sent it, hi there. You can just use the app and communicate with it and see what's up and, and send messages back. Um, you know, just like any other Mestastic node, 
except this one is this small, portable, and very cool. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll speak again soon.